hi and also hi everyone and it's so nice to meet you all in this place since we all gathered here let's play together that's fun sounds fun but before we play let's pray first okay dear lord jesus thank you for gathering us today now we want to start our service please bless the service from the beginning until the end in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 And now, since we are here, and now we are going to playing games, what games we are going to play? I have an exciting games. It's called Look Out. So this is how it plays. Later on, I will show you in the screen a lot of pictures that is similar. And then our objective is need to find the picture that is written on the screen. So for example, if the screen said cat, then we need to find a cat. Simple, right? Oh, okay, okay. I get it. Let's play. I can wait. Let's play. Let's First play. one. Cow. cow. We need to find a cow. Hmm. What does hmm. cow look like? Uh, I think it has a color black and white. Yeah, black and white. True, true, true. But hmm. all the color is black and white there. Hmm. Is it cow have a four legs? True, true. Yeah, yeah. Cow has four legs. Oh, I know. It's under the penguin on the left side. Under the penguin? Under the penguin. On the left side. Am I right? What? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Above the penguin. <gasps> yeah, I think that's right. Let's go check it. Let's check it. Yay! Wow. I got it right. One point for me. Good job, Pippi. Next one. A we have bus. to find a bus. A bus. A bus. Bus is the big one, right? Yeah, the yeah. The big one. Okay, okay. Let's find the big one. Big, 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 big. But all of them are big. I know, I know. Yeah? It's on below and it has an, a words written on that container maybe, on that box. Oh, oh that one? Is it a bus? Mm. I think that's not it. Mm. Mm. Bus has a lot of windows, right? Oh, yeah, 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 ah, that's right. I see. How about you, friends at Eagle Kids? Can you find it? The one on the right side? Right side? Oh, mm. on the top. Oh. On the top right. Yeah, on the right one. side. Okay. That's right. Let's, Let's go check, check it. it. <gasps> wow. wow. Good job, Good guys. Job. Good job, Eagle Glitz. Great. Next one. <gasps> we have a cat. We're going to find a cat. <sighs> a cat. Can you guys find it? Cat have four legs, right? True. True. It has four legs. But as long as I know a cat has a white and black color, I don't know if there is a brown. I think there's a brown cat. Let's try to find it first. Hmm. Oh, I know. It's on below under the dog on the left side. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Let's, Let's check, check it, it out. <gasps> Yay. Ooh. Good job, Momo. Get it right. One point for you, one point for me, and zero point for Lala. Come Get on, Lala, fighting. Guys. Next we have one. To find B. 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 B have black stripe, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know. Is it the one on the right side? At the top? On the top? Hmm. I think that's not it. Oh, no. how, about, how about the left side at the bottom? Oh, that one? Is it? Maybe. Should we check it out? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Yay! Okay. Good job, Lala. You got one point. Okay, next one. Candy. Candy. Wow, I love candy so much. It's really yeah. confusing because all of it is so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try to find it. Candy, where is the candy? I know. It's a bottom under the ring. It's a candy. Under the ring? Uh -huh. I hmm? think that's not it. I don't think so. How about Candy. the upside? There's half art in it. There's half art beside it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's it. Let's check it. Yay! Wow. Good job, Lala! Yes, I won. 
I ask for more often than Momo. Hmm, good job, Lala. So, where's the prize? The prize? Yeah. What prize? Are, weren't we just playing? Well, oh, really hoping to get a prize. Uh, because we are just playing together, Lala. And if there is a prize, what do you want? I want a color pencil that have 24 colors in it. I see seahorse have it, and his pictures turned wonderful. I want to like that too. Ah, color pencil. Well, for that, you can ask your mom and dad. Yeah, I asked them, but they cannot buy it for me. Do not worry, Lala. If we have something that we need or something that we want, we can ask God through our prayers. Yes, Lala, what Bibi said is true. I often pray so much because I have so many things I want. Just come on, check this out. Whoa, oh, that's, that's a lot. lot. Wow, yes. let me look, let me look. You want a new bag? Yes, of course, Lala. My old bag, the zipper is already broken right now. Let me, let me see. Oh, new toy? Yes, because when I walk, I saw a great toy and I, oh, I, I really, really want it. Oh, there's walking to the mall too? Of wow. course, because everything, I want something. I want to eat ice cream, I want to walk to the mall, I want to go to the beach and everything else. I write it down here and ask God for, just for what I want. Okay. No, wait a minute. I think there's something wrong here. Uh, well, wrong. it's true that we can ask God anything that we want, but praying is not to want to God. So, did I wrong with my prayer right now? So, how we do it the right way then? Ah, how if we ask the Miss Ilgil kids? Okay, okay. Okay, let's, let's go. ask. Let's go. Stand up and let's free Scott together. You can follow my dance like this. Hallelujah. 
much and we all know that we had so much fun and now we're going to worship him even more so let's fold our hands like this let's close our eyes we're going to sing this song together we're going to tell the lord that lord we love you we love you jesus and we know that you love us too let's praise him together Your hands so big, they can't. 
more time. Though I am weak, you are strong. Your hands so big, they carry me. True, you love me so much. True, you love me so. We love you. True, you love me so. My heart just overflows sing to him True you love me so much True you love me so True you love me so much My heart just worshiping you in this place lord we love praising you in this place thank you god that today we can praise your name thank you that today we can jump we can dance we can worship we can pray to you lord thank you jesus for this sweet sweet time now we are going to listen to a little bit of your words lord open our hearts open our ears open our minds so that we can receive what you want to say to us we are ready, Jesus. We are ready to sit below your feet and listen to your words. Thank you, Lord. Everyone that is ready to listen to God's words today, say, Amen. Shalom, amigo kids. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to talk more about the Lord's Prayer. Who prays before you eat? Who prays before you go, before you go to sleep? And who prays every day? Good job. But well, sometimes um, maybe you're thinking, uh, you're thinking that I don't know what to pray. Or sometimes I don't know what to say in our prayer. Uh, maybe they, are, they, are, they, they become not so clear or even confusing when you pray. Actually, praying is just like talking to God. It is just like when we talk to our friend, uh, when we talk to our friends or to our parents. You can talk, you can tell God about everything. Maybe you just had a bad day in school. Maybe you just got into a fight with your friend, or maybe on that day you just you just got a you just got a bad exam results, or maybe you just got scolded by your parents because of because of the thing that you did. You can tell God about everything when you pray. You can come to God. God, I feel so upset. God, I feel so angry because somebody did this to me. Somebody said this mean thing towards me. You can tell God about everything. And in our prayer, we get to call him our father because we are his children. So we will learn together how to pray like what Jesus had, has taught us when he was still on earth. When Jesus was on earth, he showed us how to pray correctly. He himself has, give, has, become, has become a great example to show us how to pray in the Lord's Prayer. That is what we're going to learn together today. So before we read the Bible first about the Lord's Prayer, let's say it together with me. I pray like Jesus pray. Can we say it one more time? I pray like Jesus pray. Yes. Let's read it in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 15. 
This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Maybe you have heard of this prayer before, the Lord's Prayer. Maybe you were taught in school, or your parents or your family have taught you uh, this Lord's Prayer. Why did Jesus teach us to pray like this? Do we need to pray? Do we need to pray in this way every day in our prayer every day? Not exactly like repeating it every time we pray, but we are going to learn from this prayer to practice it in our daily prayer. What we can learn together from the Lord's Prayer, the first thing is to praise and give thanks. Just like in the Lord's Prayer, it says that, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We can be grateful for the things that God have already given us. We can give thanks to God about all the simple things. Maybe like, thank you, Lord, for having me to wake up in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for, for, for my school. Thank you, Lord, for my family. Thank you for the food that I eat. Thank you for uh, the clothes that I wear. As simple as that, you can tell God about the things that you have. That is very simple, right? So you can, you can think about the things that you have and give thanks to God in your prayer. And not only that, we can also praise and glorify God. I will give you some examples. When you pray, you can, be, you can say something like this. You can praise God for who He is. God, you're so good. God, you're such a powerful Lord. God, you are... You are you are a faithful father. You, how wonderful your name. How beautiful your name is, Lord. I praise you. I glorify you. Something like that. Or maybe in the middle of the worship, you can sing a simple song that comes from your heart. You can glorify him. You can praise him like this. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. I praise you, you are good, thank you, Lord. Something like that. You can do that in your prayer. So, our praise and our thanksgiving are just like flowers that bloom, that smells nice, and those are pleasing to Him. So when we pray, we can give thanks or praise God. The second thing that we can learn together from, uh, from verse 11 is to pray for what we need. Like in the Lord's Prayer, give us today our daily bread. Pray for what you need. We all have our needs. We all have the needs to have food uh, for us to eat, uh, to have a house for us to live, uh, to have clothes for us to wear. We all have our needs. We actually do not need to worry because God takes care of us because God cares for us. Let's learn to pray every day for what we need. Maybe some of you, maybe some of you are thinking, hmm, maybe can, can I just pray once in a month? Or can I just pray once in a week? I can tell God about the long list I have. I can tell God about all the things that I need. Well, it doesn't work like that. We should learn to pray every day. That shows that we need Him every single day. We need God every day. So we are not praying it. We are not praying to God only once a week or once in a month, but every single day. And let's, let's be mindful of this. Sometimes what we ask isn't really what we need. Maybe when you go to a shopping mall one day and then you saw this, a very, you saw a very nice toy, and when you go home, you pray to God, God, can I, pray, can, I, can I have this toy that I just saw today in the shopping mall? I really want it. I saw my friends are playing with it. I really want to have one. Maybe you should ask yourself, 
is that really what you need? Or uh, is that just something that I want? Not really what I need. Maybe, maybe you have enough money to buy it, but actually you still need that money to buy to buy something for your school project, for something that you need more, maybe for your school fee or your tuition fee or something that you really need, that something that is more important than that. So it is something it is something that we want, not really what we need, right? Just like just like our phone nowadays. People have their own phone, right? When you see your friends are having all of the latest smart smartphones that they have, while you only have this old phone that you have, actually this phone is still working well. But because you see your friends are using all the latest smart smartphones, and then you ask your parents to buy for you, and you also pray, you also pray for it. Lord, can I have the latest smartphone just like what my friends have? That is not what we really need. Our phone still works well, so why do we need a new one when when we can still use this phone to contact our parents, to call or text our parents, to inform them where we are, right? So be careful about what we what we ask. Pray for what we need. It's not wrong to pray for what we want sometimes, but prioritize. Think about what is more important first. Prioritize what we need first. Bring your prayer to God and tell him what you need. We believe that when we pray to God about what we need, God will surely give it to us. God will listen and answer it in a perfect timing. Let's believe in that together. All right? And the last one that we're going to learn today is to pray for forgiveness. Like in the Lord's Prayer, we're not just thought to give thanks or to praise God. We're not just thought to ask for what we need, but we are also thought to pray for forgiveness. There are times that we break God's heart by doing things that is not pleasing to Him. Maybe we talk back to our parents, we speak rudely, or we cheat or hurt our friends, or maybe we lie, or maybe we steal things, or even choosing, choosing just to play games rather than pray. Those things break God's heart. When we committed sins, when we have committed sins especially, we need to come to God. We need to come with an open heart and ask for God's forgiveness. God, I come to you, Lord. I'm so sorry that today I cheated during the exam today. I really didn't know what to do. I just can't help it. I, so I cheated, Lord. I'm so sorry. I regret that I cheated this morning in school. I promise to never do it again. When you come to God with an openness and you promise God to never do it, God will forgive you. God is a forgiving God. God is a loving Father. He will forgive you when you come to Him, just like it's written in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Let me read it out for all of us. If we confess our sins... He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So learn together, keep that in mind that our God is a forgiving God, but also learn to do when we regret doing that. So we need to have that commitment to never do it again. Not just to receive that forgiveness, but also learn to be children who are forgiving too. Let's not be quick to show anger. Let's not be quick to be angry, but learn to forgive others too because we know that we are forgiven by God. So I want to I wanna pass this forgiveness to others too. Maybe one day your, your sibling comes to you and, and then tell you that, I'm sorry, I, I accidentally broke your toy. I know that this is your favorite toy, but I'm so sorry for breaking it. Maybe you are, you are upset about that, but learn to be forgiving as well. You can tell him or her, I'm sad that you broke my toys, but I forgive you. Please be more careful next time. When you do that, God is so proud of you because you know that you are forgiven by God and you want to practice that forgiveness towards others too. So let's learn to be merciful, to be forgiving towards others too. 
So that's what we learn from the Lord's Prayer. We learn to praise and give thanks. We learn to pray for what we need. And we learn to pray for forgiveness. Maybe when we are unsure about what we pray, you can also pray the Lord's Prayer itself. You can, you can read from the Bible or you can memorize. You can, you can pray from the Lord's Prayer. So let's learn together to pray like Jesus prayed. So everyone, let's close our eyes. We're going to pray together. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us how to pray like what you have shown us in the Lord's Prayer. We want to learn together that it starts with a simple thanksgiving and praise. And we also want to learn to see what is more important first and to see what we need. We believe that you will listen to what we, need, to, to what we pray about what we need. And we want to pray for forgiveness. We want to we want to come to you with an openness and we also want to learn to be forgiving towards others. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us how to pray. And let's all, uh, let's all learn together to pray in the Lord's Prayer. Let's, uh, Lord, teach us how to pray in, in the Lord's Prayer as well, Lord. Let's close this prayer with the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> to pray right because the Lord Jesus taught me so yes and now how to pray and the prayer is not just about what our desire and what we want but also we need to thank God for everything he gives to us I thank God for saving my life and saves my family I also thank God because he gives us blessing with health and joy that's true on our daily prayer we can also pray for our forgiveness. So, our God loves us very much. Therefore, if we confess our sin and we ask for forgiveness, He surely will forgive us. Yes, that's right. We can also ask what we need, but not all we want, because, because God knows the best. And I will change this list with my grateful, grateful things to God. 
and Jesus has already taught us how to pray. I also want to pray like Jesus pray. I won't pray like Jesus pray. Come on, let's say this together. I will pray like Jesus pray. Since we've learned about Lord's Prayer, how about if we pray the Lord's Prayer together? Together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will, will be done be on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, don't forget to pray the right way, okay? And the most important thing, don't forget to join Eagle Kids Service every Sunday. See you next week. Bye-bye.